When you talk about the main factor behind the success of Hong Kong movies, I would say action films are a key element and genre for our industry. In the past, kung fu stars like Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan brought Hong Kong movies to the world, so I believe action films are a crucial reason for our success. My film, Ip Man, worked because it is based on true events. We all know Bruce Lee, but we wanted to look back at his martial arts master. We dug into the history of that era, way back to 1937. We researched Ip Man's experience during the war, so we asked ourselves, how would a martial artist react to such conflict? And what role would an accomplished kung fu master take in such a time? In the film Ip Man, the audience can see more than just an action film. They see a leading character they can identify with and they realize who Ip Man was. He was a martial artist and not some sort of superhero. What makes any movie work is the story it tells. And my goal is to rediscover basic truths through the stories I tell. I wanted to have a scene when there's a fight with the Japanese. That scene where a single man faces ten opponents was an emotional climax of the film. When I was young and I saw the film Fist of Fury, the scene in the Hongko Dojo gave me a feeling of nationalism. So I guess I was paying tribute to that film when I designed Ip Man. On the Chinese mainland, censorship of movie scripts is different from what we find here. We've long said that Hong Kong filmmakers like producing ghost stories or sensitive themes which don't work in China. We're accustomed to relative freedom in Hong Kong to say what we want with our scripts. So things are still a bit different. My focus isn't really on whether I can break into the international market, but I think a good movie must be able to make it on the world stage. We can see that in the success of Echoes of the Rainbow. It's a great film. That's what it takes to find international recognition. When it comes to co-productions with mainland China, I find that I remain grounded in my Hong Kong culture. I live in Hong Kong, and I'm less familiar with the mainland, so I don't think I can make what you'd call a mainland movie. If you are a director who lives in Hong Kong, it's more natural to make Hong Kong movies. As a movie goer, I go to watch when I expect to find a good movie. It's not a case of whether it's a co-production or pure Hong Kong movie or not. It's about whether it's a good film. So what is a good movie? That question is best answered when a film hits the cinemas. My film Ip Man 1 focused on a theme about how a martial artist survives in a time of war. It's about his daily struggles and battles to survive. My next project, Ip Man 2, will take up the story of how he goes on to live. What difficulties did he face when he came to Hong Kong? How did he carry on with his martial arts and develop Wing Chun? This and so much more makes up the story of how Ip Man lived. You'll also see the interpersonal relationships he had in the 1950s and 60s. This time, actor Donnie Yen will be playing the role of someone who knows about hardship. You'll see his determination as he opens his martial arts school and deals with conflict. <laughs> 